Hello and good morning, my fellow Jacketeers. How the devil is everyone? I hope you're all well. I am okay. <laughs> Been a bit bleh over the weekend. I had real bad hay fever last week on when... Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday? No. Which day was it? It was the Thursday. Yeah. And I woke up and I was really bad on the Friday, sort of aftermath of the sneezing all day on the Thursday. Just aching and aching. I'm still aching now. And Saturday and Sunday were pretty rubbish. I had to run in on the Saturday last week because I ran out of time around about Basingstoke area. So I had to spend the night out on Friday and then run in Saturday morning. Got up about seven, got in for about half ten, back in the yard. Had to fill up and got stuck behind a wide load and all sorts of things like that. So that was fun. So I got back home about half past ten on Saturday morning. Ugh. Pretty much done bugger all and pretty much done bugger all on the Sunday as well because I was, just felt quite broken and tired. Feeling a lot better today. Still feel achy but I don't know. I reckon I've jolted something because my neck rough sneezed hard or something like that. I don't know. Um, something's not quite right. <laughs> anyway, what I bought back Friday, I now have on now, which is what I'm going to be delivering. So I've started at half six today. Today being June the... 5th? June the 5th, Monday. Yeah, that's the one. So... We're out of May, so we've run out of bank holidays. Today is actually a Monday. It's not a fake Monday and it's actually Tuesday, but it's, it is actually a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you May and all your bank holidays, you really threw me off there. I almost went through May having worked only four day weeks because I had to have a day off for dentist and him, that, this, that and the other. But um, it worked out that I could just finish early that day and get to my appointment anyway, so it wasn't too bad. Yes. So, we got two loads of two two deliveries here with these fence posts or these posts or whatever they are. One of them's going up here to Bridport Building Supplies, who I bought a load of fence posts off the weekend. So we've got to redo the fence in our garden with concrete posts because we're fed up if we keep breaking. So that'll be next week's project. So we've got next week off, and uh, then the second load is going off to Shepton Mallet somewhere, and then taking this trailer back to John Dorses, and then picking our trailer up and then I'm taking something way way north like potentially across the border unless plans have changed but yeah we could be going into Scotland I don't know if I'll make it there today but we'll get close so if I don't get there today then I'll be making it in the next video but we'll see see what happens see what happens we'll be getting close to the border today anyway Got about, I don't know how many packs it is on the back, it's quite a few. It's literally half a load. So I'll go up here, get it all unstrapped. I've got to restrap one back down once I've done that. And then, oh, look at all these people going to the gym, parking out on the road. Idiots. trucks is in the way. Just pull up on the path here for a minute. Ooh. Wait until someone comes out I guess. These people can stick it past me. Yeah, so we'll uh, try and get this unloaded quickly. Head and up the shed and get that off and then do what else we have to do. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted with the cars parked where they were. So don't think about trucks having to get up here. <laughs> yeah. well, I can't remember exactly what I was saying. Never mind. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right. That's us done here. Got all 14 packs off, which wasn't too bad. Strapped up the last odd pack. So it was an odd pack. And had one of theirs on top, so they had to take that off and then I had to restrap it. Um, I mean, I can get through, but it's not really ideal you park in there. There we go. Yeah, 
So we're all ready to head on up the Sheps and Mallet now. We'll get the last pack, a few packs off. Here are all the straps straining as I'm going around the corner. That's the trailer twists. <laughs> all right. Now there is a road closure up the road, but I don't know when that's enforced from. I drove through it this morning, coming here into work. A signpost saying the town closed from such and such. It doesn't say a time, it just says the date. Like, well, can I go for it now or is it going to be closed later? I don't know. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit though, so why not? Risk it for a chocolate biscuit. So yeah, we're about an hour and 24 minutes away from the drop at Shepton, so I'll see you when we get there, I guess. Yeah, that's sun at me face first. Oh, it's going to be a warm one today, I think. Lovely. Right, we're just coming up on the customer now. About three minutes away, apparently. And uh, there's two ways to get here. One is to go under the low bridge, which is a 4.2 meter bridge, which I can fit under. But there's also another way to avoid the low bridge. So I went that way, which is kind of more direct, sort of. Uh, you have to go for a seven and a half ton limit, but apparently you got, you're got you allowed to go through it to uh, avoid the low bridge, of course. Not that I actually needed to, but eh. I thought I'd do it for future reference so I understand what this way is like, and it is rubbish. It's not too bad until you get to the little village of, I can't remember what it's called, Brutum, Butum, something, something like that anyway. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit narrow. <laughs> and there's like one bit where there's like parking spaces for cars and like the houses get like really close to the road. Then you've got to squeeze through that. And the two cars that are parked there are like the two biggest cars you can possibly have. Two bloody Land Rover Defenders parked there. It's like, well, you couldn't park a bigger car there, really, could you? <laughs> but apparently that's the way you got to go when you got a taller trailer. But no, I'm definitely going to go out the other way, I think. I mean, going out that way is not too bad, because I think I've gone out that way before. That's all right. But, yeah. Should have filmed going through there, really, because it was a little bit tight. But we managed. Got through unscathed. couple of work vans up there at the moment doing something as well so I was a bit close to them. Hey, okay. that's all you gotta come if you're over 4.2 meters. Well I think in the future if I know I've got anything 4.2 or less then I'll just go under the bridge up here so yes Point, sort of stress myself out going through there. Well, it didn't really stress me out, but you know what I mean. I've gone that way now. I've tried it out. I know what it's like. I'd rather go under the bridge. Obviously, unless I have someone else's trailer that's over that height that's a curtain side of them, yeah, then I'd have to go through that way. this off and then make our way back over to Clumpton to swap this trailer back over for us. So I've got to remember where I'm going in here now. I think I've got to go straight up the yard that way. pull up here and then I'll go get hold of someone. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers buddy. Thank you. 
Alright, we are done, we are unloaded, and we are out of here, hopefully. Um, might be a bit tight to get out this gateway actually. <laughs> we're a bit too tight, I might have to back up a little bit. Just watch these cars it. Not much room to get through the yard that way. Out with this jag sat here. What have we got there? Oh, I've got plenty of room to go over that side. Bits and pieces dotted around everywhere. Might be right now. Might have enough room to squeeze her on round. should be right now yeah right yeah so we're done it <coughs> we got our 13 packs off uh, now we're gonna go underneath the low bridge because it's just easier to go that way I guess and we've got to make our way out to sort of Columpton ish sort of area go swap this trailer back over for our one and then go click sign so I'm gonna head over there we're about an hour and a half away roughly Time's going to change as soon as I get under here because my sat-nav doesn't like this bridge at the moment. But we do fit. <laughs> Hour and 45 now, apparently. Apparently it would have been quicker to go the other way. Ah, oh, well. What can you do? I mean, you just keep coming, pal. Christ, you didn't want to slow down, did he? <laughs> All right. We're gonna make our way over, do this trade swap, and then collect our load for uh, hopefully Scotland. And it, like I said, unless it changed, it could still change. You never know. If it has changed, then I've completely ruined this video by getting everyone's expectations up and me going to Bonnie Scotland. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll see you in a bit. Right here we are, John Dorsey's now. So, just park that trailer up. I'm gonna go hitch up to ours again. And then go do the job it is I'm required to do. So there's our trailer there. fun on everything.
forget how close that pin is sometimes. <laughs> Needs to say it's definitely in. <laughs> Oh, we're almost ready to go. All I've got to do now is give the boss a call. We'll find out exactly where it is I'm collecting, whatever it is I'm collecting. <laughs> so yeah, let's check this trailer over, make sure everything's all right. Everything should be all right, cause it's the same as when I left it. So give the tires a quick check. All good. Make sure the arches are attached. Check all the thingies. Make sure none of them are. Out of alignment. Make sure the tyres are nice and solid. Of course. Check what you can anyway. Lights are working. They put the indicators on yet to double check, but I'll do that in a minute. So we're all good. Underrun's all good and secure. Alright, give the boss a call and find out where we're going. I'll see you when I'm nearly there. Right, here we are heading up to our collection point, which is in a little place here called Hemyok, which we are following the little black signs to go to. Apparently there's one way in. A few different ways out apparently, but only one way in. So, <laughs> had to give Dom a ring and he, he's told me which way to go, so I am Heading in via his directions. We're nearly there. Oh, hello, car. Hi. There we go. Yeah, so we are picking up, I assume, a building of some sort, whether it's a flat pack thing or whether it's a fully built thing, I don't know. But we're collecting it for a place called something buildings or something like that so yeah and that's going to Kelso is it in Scotland yes or the south side of Scotland south east ish I think did have a brief look it's going to a farm up there so that should be entertaining to find obviously that's not going to be until Thursday's video because there's no way I'm going to get up there today because I only have what five and a half hours driving left for the day, roughly. So, I'm gonna get up as far as I can. I, I kind of hoped you could go past me, but that's fine, as long as you pulled in enough, that's the main thing. Yeah, <clears throat> so, not worried about how long it takes me to get loaded. I'd like to get as far as Lim tonight, because that'll be a nice place to stop. Don't mind stopping there when I've got a flat bed, because I ain't got to worry about my curtains being sliced. <laughs> but uh, yeah last time I had food there um, in the restaurant that's there yeah I don't think I'll be doing that again <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great so we will stop at Lynn because well if we if we got enough driving time to get that far because we've still got to get out to the M5 and we're only what half hour from where I was so we're still sort of around Columpton ish sort of area, maybe a little bit further north, we're probably closer to Tiverton sort of way. Is that right? I don't know. We're somewhere on that stretch of the M5. <laughs> Apparently going through the town here could be a bit fun, but we'll see what happens with that. Lovely place out here though. Not going to be as scenic as tomorrow is going to be, but there you go. Thursday for you. Don't know what I've got to come down with yet though. Take it nice and easy.
got to put the trailer tire there. It's alright. Stay there, I'll get past you. There we go. This is the way the signs tell me to come in, people. <laughs> Always fun coming to these places, isn't it? <laughs> Always good to get a heads up. go back out this way as well. Lovely little bridge to go over. Get lined up for that first and there's a car there. You're gonna mind out the way for me because that'll be great. Cool, if this is the correct way to come in, I want to know what the wrong way looks like. <laughs> It's not wide. <laughs> Come through this tiny little village with this noisy trailer, causing mayhem. Um, I'm gonna need you to come this way, pal. So I'm gonna need to swing right out there, I think. I do, thank you. Hey, yes, yeah, good fun. <laughs> Hi car. caught a glimpse of the wall in my mirror, I thought I was going to hit it, but <laughs> nah, it was alright. That's why I don't like wearing sunglasses, because that's my peripheral vision that caught that. That's why I don't like wearing them, because I find that blocks the peripherals. But, we're all good, we're all good. I'm sure people should be used to trucks coming in and out of here as this is like the main way in. Thank 
you. Oh, see. There's another horse in that field as well. Must have been his neighbour. <laughs> oh. I let myself out, shall I? <laughs> oh dear. I shouldn't be allowed to tell jokes, should I? I mean, there's dad jokes and then there's that. <sighs> if I get a chance, I'll show you what's making all that rattling noise. I'm sure I've, you've seen before, so yeah. Black down buildings, here we go. All right. Go in and speak to someone, I guess. Say in a bit. Ah, now where do I stop? Just going to pull up over here, I guess. Near enough ready to go, just gonna plumb the old postcode in. So the sat nav tells me it doesn't recognise it. <laughs> oh no, it does. I think uh, this guy's waiting for me to get out of the way. There we go. We are now loaded and we are on our way. On our way to Bonnie Old Scotland, off the Kelso, which is somewhere in Scotland. Gotta get out there in one go. Close one. Oh, I just touched the bank. No, we're good, we're good. We made it. Whew! Yeah, that was a dodgy old load to strap up. Uh, yeah, so like loads of bits and pieces here and there and everywhere. And yeah, <laughs> it, it took a bit of thinking to get it strapped down somewhat. And I can't strap some of because I've got metal, like tin roof parts, so I can't strap them down too hard. So I've had to strap a couple of straps underneath it, a couple of straps over it. It's, yeah, not an ideal load really, but. We've got, we got it all strapped down, we'll have a retention of some of the straps, some of them we can't retention too tight anyway because we don't want to bend the tin work. I mean they're adequately, adequately tight, not as tight as I'd like them for the timber but it is what it is. You got to do what you can without damaging the goods. <coughs> yeah, now, it was a bit of jumping up and down on the trailer to make sure everything's all in the right place but we, we got it done. So now we've got to head on out of here and head north, eight and a half hours away apparently from where we are, 402 miles. Um, so I need to say we're not going to make it today because I've already done, what, four hours driving, so we can get six hours on the way up, <laughs> with two and a half left to do tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'll see what time i got left when I'm at Lim. If I'm on about five hours when I get there, I might stop there. If not, I might carry it up. See if I can sort of get the T-Bay or something like that. Is it T-Bay? I don't know. We'll head on up as north as we can anyway. As much as we can do. I've got a phone number for the farm as well, so I'll give him a ring either later today or tomorrow and then just confirm where he is. I think I know where it is, but Obviously, you want to double check because, yeah, you don't want 
sort of head there and then find out you can't get that way. Alright, now we've got to try and get out of this place. You could have made that. Thank you anyway. Way or if you're doing your stopping, you can stop. I'm trying to swing at that van. That right, past him. <coughs> We're gonna go up on the curb. There we go. We're all good. Now we got to try and get our way up this hill, which will be fun. Way to want to come in traffic. Well, I'm wider than the road is, so if there's any oncoming traffic, we're gonna have to hope they stop. Which her isn't so fantastic. <laughs> Mate in that place there said there is another way out. He said coming up this hill can be a pain sometimes because people don't stop and give way to trucks coming up the hill. So sometimes you gotta like go from a dead stop up the hill, which is annoying because obviously. It you stop and then everything jumps back as you try and go again on a hill start. And yeah, yeah, this could be amusing. This truck here is the way. I'm not having enough room to get past him, am I? I don't think I am, am I? I might have to back up, let him through. Hopefully, it's not behind me. So I can't see. Because I'm gonna get past that truck there. No way. No way. I'm hoping he's not there on a break. <sighs> Hopefully no one needs to turn in this way either. speak to him, see what he's doing. Otherwise I'm going to sit here like a lemon. <clears throat> Alright. See how we get on. This place is not ideal really, is it? Well, that's that bit done. Thank you. Loads of foliage in here now. <laughs> oh dear. I have to clean all the leaves out. Alright, we'll get over this bridge and then uh, I'll pick this up a bit later. I'll see you whenever I decide to bring it back in again. Right. <sighs> so, just pulled up here at Woodall Services. Woodall? No, Michael's Wood Services. I always get the two mixed up. Just to have a 
another check of the straps. I've already checked them again earlier. Pulled over in. As soon as I got on the M5 earlier, went to the first services, which was Taunton Dean. Checked them there. Just gonna check them again now. They're still tight. It's not bad. They seem to be staying tight now, but we'll still check them. I don't think we've lost anything. <laughs> it's a bit of a sketchy load. That one's a bit loose. That's good. <sighs> Can't do these ones too tight. and that's all coming off. We'll have to get up there and sort that out in a bit. Alright, so we've just chucked an extra strap on here. And the next one here to hopefully stop that roofing losing all of its uh, sheathing. <laughs> stop it undressing itself. So yeah, we have a 15 minute break here now. And then uh, carry on a bit further up the road and then check it again a bit later. Have a half hour break and then push on as far as we can. Don't know where we're going to get to, but we'll see. We will see. Right, here we are coming up to Lim Truck Stop, Lim Services, whatever you want to call it. So we're four minutes from there. As you saw, we had uh, Lena Trucker pass us further down than the M6. So, uh, gave her a wave and whatever. <laughs> um, so she's actually heading in here as well, but she's she's going to be carrying up tonight. She didn't start until this afternoon, so she's going to be able to get all the way up to near our customer tonight. Whereas I won't, I potentially, if I find a space now, I might potentially stop for the night, call it quits here, and then just leave earlier in the morning. Because um, the thing is, if I carry on up the road, I've only got about an hour and a half. Uh, what was it? 7.39. 10 past... Uh, quarter past 8 by the time that runs out. So it leaves me about an hour and 15 minutes. So an hour and 15 minutes further up the road. Worth it? Probably not. Because the fact is, an hour and 15 minutes up the road, I might not get a space. Whereas in here, I might get one. So... Yeah, could potentially be staying here for the night, I think. <clears throat> like I say, if I find a space, I think I'm going to be staying. I need to have a break anyway, because I've got nine minutes driving left on a four and a half. So I need to sort of get in here pretty quick and get somewhere stopped. I mean, I can park behind a bunch of other trucks for now to get my break in. So it's not really too much of an issue. But, uh, and then I'll carry on a bit if I need to. But the thing is, I'm not sure where the next services is and how busy they generally are and how safe they generally are. Because I've not actually stopped at any of the service between here and I want to say I want to say T Bay. I'm pretty sure it's T Bay. The one that's uh, similar to Gloucester Services, the one that's run by the farm shop people. I might be way off. I don't know. I might be called something. Else. It's not Tamworth. It's Tamworth's down. A A M forty two, isn't it? I don't know. Something like that, anyway. I don't think I'll quite make it that far on an hour and 15 minutes. Change lights, thank you. All right, let's get in here quickly, see if we can get a space. I'll say it'd be nice to get a space. As long as I can get some break. I'm not too worried. Would have been nicer if uh, I could have got quite a bit further up, but it wasn't to be. I mean, from here, it's about four hours, four, just over four hours to the customer, so I can do it in one run, if I need to, but we shall see. Right, let's see if we can get a space.
recheck all these straps as well. Recheck all the load and everything, make sure it's all okay. But it's not the most, it's, it's not the best load. Ah, Lena's there, she's got a space. There she is, right there. <laughs> You're on camera. I'm too scared to go further. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Go on. And now I'll see what I've got, because I've got six minutes left. See you in a minute. Uh, this is not looking good so far. Everyone's all piled out here. Not too worried about it, because like I said, I can park behind some people. Or I could literally just whack it over here for a minute or something. Like whack it here. See what we got, see what we got. He's gonna pull in next to him. Oh my God, it is absolutely packed in it. Couple of Royal Mail boys there. I don't think I'm going to get a space here somehow. Ah. <laughs> I might pull up next to Stiggy there. I could be cheeky and sneak it in. He's a nice bloke, his steering rack snapped, so he'll go forward, but he can't steer anywhere. Alright, oh, okay. Because I just had to get him to shift a little bit to get me in it. Alright. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, he's a nice enough bloke, but he hit a pothole or something, he's got no steering. Oh no. But he can only go straight. Nightmare, nightmare. I'll, uh... uh yeah, I'm an auto. Yeah, sod it, why not? There we go. Oh. <laughs> so I've just met this uh, mad lady. <laughs> yeah, you need to go like past those people where they parked and you can film me going in and round. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send it to you. Oh, I'll get out the way of this guy. Don't get killed. <laughs> Oh. So, we met Lena, that was nice, she, uh, she gave me a little mug thingy, <laughs> came straight out, gave me a little mug, a key ring and a pen, it's like a little fan box thing, <laughs> that's pretty cool, I should probably start doing stuff like that, I said to her, I said well I've got a stickers and do you know what, I completely forgot to give her a sticker, never mind, <sighs> that's in it. Anyway, we're all paid up for parking now. We've got Stiggy next to us in the Black Duff. He's off getting some food at the moment. So yeah, he's uh, he'll probably be walking back in a minute. He's gonna find out in a bit that you can't get the uh, McDonald's on the meal vouchers there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we're at Lim for the night. I decided there's not much point going an hour and 15 minutes up the road because I, I don't know anywhere I could stop in an hour and 15 minutes from it. So, Stay here for the night. Get our for a. But oh, what time do I get here? Seven fifteen, I think. So uh, I can get on up the road. I can leave here about half past four, maybe five o'clock, and get up there for a reasonable sort of time. Get to the customer. Get it unloaded. So uh, yeah, not in Scotland today. I didn't think that was going to happen anyway. 
But tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, but in the next video on Thursday, I will be in Scotland. So uh, watch Thursday's video, six o'clock. So yeah, I will be in Scotland. I'll probably start filming as I go through the border, to be honest. Yeah. Anywho, I'm going to leave the video here. So take it easy. Look after yourselves. Drive safely. Subscribe to Lena Trucker. Thanks for Trucker Ammo, Jono. I'll see you in the next one. On Thursday. Goodbye!